Hi, my name is Dan, the CTO at Optigo Networks. So where is Ubacnet going in the next five to 10 years? Uh, revolves around a few different areas. So one is uh, security. So one of the major flaws with Bacnet today is just the fact that it's, it's insecure. And uh, if you were to go and gain access to the network on a Bacnet building, enable building, you would find uh, that uh, you could wreak havoc on that building, uh, take down devices, change set points, and do lots of different things that would be very problematic. So, so we see Bacnet uh, getting a lot more secure. In fact, there's a Bacnet uh, working group called Bacnet SC for Secure Connect, and they're working to introduce security uh, throughout every throughout the Bacnet system. So every uh, communication uh, from a Bacnet device to a Bacnet server or, or a hub will be will be fully secure. So that's one big change that we see coming in from Bacnet. Uh, another one involves uh, convergence. So so we see Bacnet as the dominant uh, building protocol that's being used to converge a lot of different systems, such as like lighting systems and security systems. And, uh, and as these uh, systems are through gateways are brought into the backnet world, and uh, it makes it a lot easier to build a fully integrated smart building. And to do that, you need all of these systems and all of these devices to be able to, to, be able to talk to each other. And uh, the third one is just IoT meets the smart building. So, so what you need to do is you want to make all of these uh, devices uh, accessible. Via, via URL, make it easy for them to be identified by analytics. For that, you want to use tagging. So project like things like Project Haystack or Backnet centric tagging. Uh, all of these are going to uh, to make it easier to run a lot of analytics over top of the building. And tagging can be used to easily identify the devices. And things like Project Haystack uh, URLs will be used to get the analytics. Mm -hmm.